Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. It's the debate that's raged on throughout draft season. Where should the Steelers prioritize its first-round pick? Is it quarterback in a relatively down class while picking in the bottom half of the order? Or is it somewhere else, O-line, wide receiver, another position? What about safety, and what if Kyle Hamilton somehow slips to the Steelers? I know the odds of that happening are low, but I don't think they're zero. The fact Pittsburgh's bringing him in for a pre-draft visit tells me they think he has a shot to fall, and there's history working against Hamilton, Notre Dame's top flight DB, and in the Steelers' favor. Safeties don't typically go high in drafts. Hamilton's potential top five selection was going to make him something of a unicorn. In his slower 40 times, 4-5-9 on Indy's fast track at the Combine, and the 4-7s at his pro day, certainly will be a red flag. It could make him fall. Now that may sound scary, but it would not prevent me from entertaining Hamilton. He plays faster on tape, is a big and impactful hitter, and though he's a little tight-hipped, he's one of the best players in this class. So what if he fell to 20? Would the Steelers take him, or would they still go quarterback? It would lead to one of the most interesting discussions. Quarterback, of course, has more value than safety, but Hamilton would likely grade out as their best player. This would truly be a test of value versus need, though of course, the Steelers have a need at safety as well. Again, Hamilton falling to 20 is not the likely outcome, but sometimes players fall. David DeCastro wasn't expected to make it to Pittsburgh's pick, and even Bud Dupree was considered a potential top 10 guy before he slid down to the Steelers, so I do not want to rule anything out, and I'll keep an eye on where Hamilton does or does not end up. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast, myself and Dave Brian, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.